All right, first violins, here's your practice recording for Darkened Shadows. Uh, the very first note is a harmonic pizzicato. It's going to sound kind of pingy. Um, so you find your natural harmonic on the A string right there. Okay, it's about where your hand stops, third position extended four. And you're going to pluck that. So it sounds kind of kind of pingy like that, but that's the sound we're getting, trying to go for. Next, we have that huge section of uh, 16th notes. So there's a couple ways to practice this. Start either the top notes or the bottom notes, either one, and start building up your bow stroke. So alternating um, or string crossing 16th notes. You know, you're right about the middle, maybe an inch below the middle, and you're going to use that as a pivot point. You're just rocking back and forth. Once you have that comfortable, start going faster. Okay, so you can see I'm not using a lot of bow. I'm using my wrist and my bow fingers to make the, um, the stroke happen. I'm not using upper arm. I'm not using a lot of elbow. The more you work at this, the harder it gets, actually. So you want to lighten up. So again, just about like an inch or so ago, that's all you want to use. Uh, once you feel comfortable with that, with the speed and the bow stroke, you can definitely do the double stops. Put your first finger between the two strings. You can go from the D and A to the D and G. Uh, but give yourself time. Take, take it easy with learning the bow stroke first and then add that stuff in. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to play from measure 2 through 21 at a pretty moderate speed. If it's too fast for you, go back and practice it slower first. Um, if it's good, then try a little bit faster. But we're going to go about, about that speed for right now. Okay, so here's measure 2 up through 21. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, E, and a 4, E, and a 100 crescendos, that's what makes it sound so cool, is those waves of sound that you're creating by getting louder and softer. Um, do better than I did with those accents in those last two lines. Um, there's some fun stuff going on in there with the changes. Um, and then the last little scale that I did, so uh, measure 19, G natural, low 2, 1 in 3rd position, 2, 5th position, 1, and you're hitting your harmonic. Right there, you don't have to play it like a harmonic, press down so you get a better sound, but that's the note you're aiming for. Okay, so again, practice that. I would like it to get up to about, about that speed. All right, so we're moving on at 21. Uh, this is going to be the solo for these first four measures. Then 2D, everybody comes in. I'm going to start playing at 21, so you can practice the solo along with me, or you can wait those four measures until uh, the 2D section. Um, like the beginning, if it's messing you up to do double stops right now, just pick the top notes or the bottom notes either way, uh, but watch the rhythm, watch the bowing. All right, so here's 21. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Anyway, 
So again, you've got lots of open strings, the double stops are easy, but to make sure you're playing the right pitches, just do one line or the other. Uh, that little scale going up, um, I don't really have measure numbers here, but it's the last line, the note before the last night line. You go to the third position, one. Fifth position, one. And so you stay there. First position. Jump back up to third position. Back to first. And so on. All right, so now we're at the top of page two. A lot of third position here. Fifth position on the next line. I put all the fingerings in. So practice this slow and then try it with me here in the video. So we're going to start right on page two. One, two, three, and four, and... super hard. All right, so I put some fingerings in. If you're not in love with them, you can change them. Uh, I don't know if I'm in love with them either. Uh, there's that little bit, the two measures before 45. I had to stay up in fifth position. Um, and then shifting down after that. Yeah, if you don't like that, you can do third or fourth position. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I can help you out if that's not working for you. Okay, so now we get into the optional first stand. This is like the beginning again. Everybody joins in at 55. So I'm going to play at 55. Um, there's another little scale going up into third position um, towards the end. Otherwise, it's very similar to the first page. So here is uh, the optional first stand, two before 55. One, two, three, four. <laughs> into 65 at the 6-4. Okay, so that's the first chunk. That's the kind of the hardest part, I think, so far of the, of the piece. All right, so now the middle section, the 6-4 section. So six beats per measure, quarter note gets the beat. Um, for right now, I'll be, con I'll be conducting it in six as well. Maybe we'll get into kind of a cut time feel later on. It does say felt in two. Uh, but here is the top of page three. Uh, optional first stand, so this is again the first stand part. Uh, and then we get into our divisi section. So this first time through, I'm going to play the A part, the top part. This is what concert orchestra is playing for our divisi. Um, and then I'll go back and do the bottom part, the B part, which is what string orchestra will be playing. All right, so counting in in six, here's the top of page three. Again, this will be the first stand, but follow along or play with me for practice. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs>
So that's that part. Some pretty fifth position in there. Be aggressive on that section. Um, same thing, one after 90 with that slur going up. Practice that shift quite a bit so it can be really dramatic. Um, and the more you can do those accents in the pizzicato section, the cooler that's going to sound. And it's hard because you're doing some offbeat stuff, but it sounds really neat. Okay, so now real quick, I'm going to go back and do the part at 75 with the B section. You can fast forward if, if you're only doing the A part, the top part. All right, so here's 75, the B line, the bottom line. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> So that's the B part. All right, so now we're at 108. This is presto just like the beginning again. And actually both parts are the same for a while until we get up to 113. Um, so you guys can practice that on your own. It's the same stuff. And back and forth again. So this is the A part, the top part at 113. Um, B part, I'm not going to do your parts because other than just doing some more of those 16th notes, you, you guys play the same thing. So you can figure that part out. So here's 113, the top part. One, two, ready, and. Two, three, four. Oh, I messed it up. All right, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> totally messed that up. All right, let's do 113 again. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. going on in there. Um, the bowing is difficult, but it makes it sound really cool when you've got those three notes slurred instead of four or two. Um, some of the ties that are, are over the bar, that makes that rhythm sound really neat as well. So practice that slow if it's messing you up a little bit. 120, that was just another big old scale going up to fifth position like the first page. And then you get that same da 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 da, -da that you had before as well. Okay, so then here's our last little part. You do that same pizzicato. This is the second to last line, two before 137. So that pingy harmonic pits. And then this is the part that's a little slower and the moderato, and we just gradually fade out. So here's just one time through from 137 to the end. Again, do as much as you can with the accents. So we're coming on beat four. Here's your three beats rest. One, two, three. Yep. 
There's just scale going down. It faked me up. I thought there was extra notes in there. Okay, so you definitely need short fingernails. I don't want any fingernail plucking. Make sure it's the pad of your finger, which is hard when it's going so fast. Uh, but make sure you have short nails for that. Uh, work on your double stops. So lots of bow arm stuff going on. Uh, and let me know if you have any questions.